Picture this. You're on a ship 1,000 years ago. The water looks calm, but beneath you something waits. A weapon so clever it could sink entire armies without a single soldier. This isn't a movie plot, it's real. Ancient India's navy had underwater traps called Pasha Yantra, and guess what? They were made with stuff you'd find in your kitchen. Coconut oil, sulfur, and iron scraps. Now think about this. How did warriors 1,000 years ago figure out how to turn coconuts into bombs? Mix sulfur and iron, seal it in a metal case, and drop it underwater. When a ship passed, boom, flames on the ocean. The Chola Empire used these to dominate the seas, crushing enemies from India to Indonesia. But here's the creepy part. These traps weren't dumb rocks, they worked like modern mines. Some say they could sense ships. How? We still don't know. Ancient texts mention a mysterious metal called Vera Loha. Stronger than steel, never rusting. Was this the secret? And get this, in 1025 CE, King Rajendra Chola's fleet sailed 3,000 kilometers, that's like Delhi, to Thailand, using these underwater weapons to clear their path. Imagine being a sailor back then, seeing fire erupt from the sea. You'd think the gods were angry. So, were these the world's first sea mines? The US Navy credits mines for winning wars today. But India's Pasha Yantra, they were doing it centuries earlier, yet hardly anyone talks about it. Why, if you love stories that make you rethink history, hit subscribe. Every click uncovers a piece of our past that textbooks forgot. Share this with someone who thinks ancient history is boring. I promise it's anything but.